What's up YouTube, Zombie Killer here. Gonna show you how to get lots of um, bat points so that way you can try to unlock the Yakuza training gear for bonus XP. Now, um, you will wanna try to play a little bit and unlock the Sereni bat for a hundred cause that will help out with getting the points. If you get really good with your timing, you can unlock the expert bat and this will allow for a lot more money. Well, bat points, but um, you have to get the timing down right, which I haven't managed to do. So you're gonna wanna come to the home one course. Now these will have the thing in a 3x3 three three block so there will be a total of 9 of them from bottom left over to the bottom right then middle would be um, 1, 2, and 3 then middle right I mean left all the way to middle right would be 4, 5, 6 and from the top left to the top right would be 7, 8, 9 that's how I'm going to refer to them. You can easily type into like a calculator on your phone to remember the code or whatever. But these will always come at the same thing. You're going to want to do expert for the most money. And you okay. just got to get your timing right. Once you know where it's coming, we go. you can easily line it up. It'll be number five first. <laughs> then you're going to nice. need number two. Number one. Nice. The number three. Okay. The number seven. The number three. Nice. Number one. Okay. The number six. Nice. The number one. Nice. The number three. And just nice. like that, easy 700 batting points. The batting points is 1,000, but because of the 0 0.3 times multiplier nerf, it will only equal up to 700. If you manage to do this with the normal bat, you'll get 1,000 points, and if you can do it with the red bat, you'll get 1,500. But unfortunately, their timing is so much more difficult, so I haven't been able to consistently hit them. I will showcase all the bats to you, so you can see how they perform, okay. but for the best um, points on average, doing the blue bat is <laughs> usually the better. Damn. As you see, I'm messing up on the timing bat. But it will always be the same regardless of which bat you see. Damn. Three. There we go. Okay. That's one home one. Nice. Two home ones. Nice. 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 Nice.
Actually, that's the best I've done <laughs> with the default bat yet. But as you see, still only 300. So I still made 400 more, despite the fact that was the best I ever did with the default bat. <laughs> Usually it's like two or three. That's my first time hitting five of them. And I'll showcase it like that. Okay. Here we go. Number five. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> Damn. Number one. to find the perfect sweet spot for the hit. Damn. And the nice thing about the blue bat is it really increases the sweet spot. So you can get more home runs. The most I ever gotten with the red bat is two home runs. Unfortunately, I just can't get the timing down. Okay. Sometimes it feels like pure luck when I get it. Nice. But there we go. Two home wins. My personal best. And I only got 300 points. So this is why I recommend just sticking with the blue bet. And now we finally have enough to get this trend gear. And we're gonna go ahead and equip it. But if you do get two of these, you know, it would only double up the negatives of the effects, which still would not be too bad. It'd be minus 46 attack. Defense, magic, and minus 70 healing, agility, and dexterity, which isn't too bad. If we look at my current stats. Oh, wait, I should probably um, remove this. We'll switch it over to this. As you see, with the stats, they're still pretty good. That even with the negative of this, it's not that big of a deal. Dexterity is the only thing that really suffers from it, but that's all right. We don't really need much for dexterity. He'll be fine. And depending on which jobs you do, pretty much all my guys, except for this guy, the, and also her dexterity decrease doesn't really matter. And with the bonus XP that you'll get, it should be enough to increase you to two times for two of them, which I'm going to... Quickly run over here and fight these guys to showcase exactly how much. I've already got one thing that gives me plus 0.5% um, XP boost. And this should give me the other one for double XP. So, we're gonna go ahead and take care of this and look at that double XP. 
Yep, double XP. So, I got 176. Allow me to hit level 99. Up in the world. Which I'm assuming would be max, because that's how most RPG goes. Unless if this is one that goes to 999. But it would allow me to hit max level quicker. We're just going to take care of these guys. But I'm going to yet again show where to aim with the blue bats and as long as you aim right there you're good. You can easily type it out in the calculator and just be able to look like do. Um, let's go inside now. You could easily type out in like a calculator or just look down in the description because I plan on putting down in the description the order. But do 5 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 6 plus 1 plus 3 which is how I first wrote down the order that it went. But um... Okay. Once you have it down, you can easily do it without even having to look at the code. Okay. And as long as you press it at a decent enough time, with the blue bat, you should be pretty much guaranteed nice. that easy 100. I mean, easy 700. As you nice. see, it's super easy, not even trying. Nice. Okay. And as long as you remember the order that comes, nice. it's super easy. Now for the final one. This will be nice. your best way to complete this. As you see, very easy point making. So if we are looking at this, it costs 12,000 just to get one of them, and you get 700 each time. So it will be about 18 times that you got to do it to unlock um, one of these vests. If you want two, then it pretty much doubles, so on and so forth. Good. Now, if I want to buy 10 of these, that would be about 171 times. And then, if I bought 14 of them, That would be two hundred and forty times to get fourteen of these. So not too bad, but quite a few hours of baseball. I will showcase the um, proper way one more time and then I'll call it quits on this video. Yeah, again, I'll put down the description. Okay. By number, which one it will be. Here we go. Five.
Number two. Seven. Number three. Okay. Nice. Number one. Damn. Ah, I did this quick. I guess I tried to. Number six. This will showcase what happens if you get 9 out of the 8. As you see, your money will go down quite a bit. Down to 490. So you lose about 210. So, definitely hit all 10. It's pretty easy. I only got sidetracked for a second in this, um, my swing, but not a big deal. And with that, you will be able to easily, over time, unlock um, getting these. Also, if you want to try to collect the CDs, you can get them to do that. Won't take too long to get the CDs. Um, other than that, if there's anything super valuable in here, you could probably get it, but be honest not much I see that want like with this you could get this for 10 times going through and with these you could get these for less than 10 times but probably like about um, eight eight to nine times but to be honest I would go for the XP booster Probably also getting these just so that way you got them and then go for any of these that looks good past that. If for some reason you want this hammer you could get it from here. I don't know how good it is compared to some of the other hammer. In fact let's see how good it is compared to most of the hammer I got. Alright. So, I, I already got a hammer that does 109 damage. And I have one that does 149. So, let's compare those to this and let's find out. 160. So, it does have more damage than. Well, I currently have, but at the price of 30000 yeah, I cannot recommend getting it. You can easily get two of these for, um, 2000 I mean, 24000 So, um, and then you would still have another... For the price of getting two of these, you could get five of these. And five of these would be enough for, uh, you know, two people to have double XP while one have 50% more XP. So, it's just not recommended to get the hammer until after you have enough of these to cover every single party member. To equip two and then also... Maybe get these CDs first too. 
And then probably just go for the stat growths that are good. Like getting these would probably still be more beneficial. Cause these will increase your attack. So I think it would be at least, you know, five probably. If it's one then that would suck, but I'm guessing at least five points. So you're just better off getting those than this. As it stands. But that's my opinion. Unless if it turns out that you really need that in the future, I would just stay away. Because after all, um, we'll go to the crafting thing. And we'll take a look at, um, yeah. Yeah, so if I was to, alright, that's the wrong one, here. If I was to upgrade this some more, then, you know, it would eventually outpower it. Because this can go up by 7. And then it could be upgraded quite a few times. So eventually, two, three more upgrades in this, I'll have a stronger weapon than what the golf game has. I mean, the baseball game has. But, um... I just don't really feel like wasting the upgrade materials on a weapon that, you know, I'm not that sure how much I'm going to get use out of. Because I don't know how much I'm going to do this carpenter job. You know what? If I really knew how to get the high density metal, which I'm probably, there'll probably be a shop later on or, a, you know, some good grinding spot that I find. But if I knew how to get that, I'd be maxing this out. Just so I could compare it to this. I wonder what this weapon's even called. The Star Crusher? You know what? I'm going to do a quick save. And then I'm going to fully upgrade my sledgehammer and I can just reload my save to um, do a comparison. Because by um, doing comparison I can actually give you a better example of how much stronger weaker it is. And I'm sure you could probably find the exact weapon somewhere else or something way stronger. But just for the sake of finding out. Alright, where are we? Right here. Just touch. Almost there. That's nice. There we go. Oh wait. I guess the star crusher is a upgrading requirement. Good. Let's nice, upgrade this nice, real quick. Nice. Looking good. Almost there. Nice, nice. Almost there. Looking good. Just a finishing touch. Almost there. I need more diamonds. So yeah, I can't upgrade this without more diamonds. That kind of sucks. Uh. Wait a second. Let's check out something.
Alright, so... Yeah, I think all the mini games probably has upgrade items as weapons, because I had a golden crystal ball, which I'm not seeing. I probably accidentally <laughs> refused it with this. Either way, um... Uh, As I'm saying, it's still not worth it to get the bat as it stands. I'm sure you could probably find the Star Crusher elsewhere. But it's cool though that it's part of a requirement for upgrade. But yeah, you're just better off trying to find it elsewhere probably. We'll just go without it, because that's a lot of games, just for one weapon. Nobody stopped him. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Like I said though, the Star Crusher is 160 damage. Sledgehammer I just upgraded. Where is it? Ah, does 188 damage. And then, looking at the smartphone. Crafting app. Even if I was to upgrade the sledgehammer, I would only get 15 extra damage. Also, I would have to trade in a cough drop tin, which is a very rare item. So, for 15 extra damage, don't know if I can justify that. Even this gives a higher damage boost with the use of cough drop. Because 188. I know it, it's the same. But still, I don't really recommend doing it. I'm sure you can find the weapon elsewhere. After all, this cannot be the only spot, I don't think. But, anyways. After you have all the XP booster, if you still like the baseball game and wants to go for it, go ahead, but I just would advise against it. But anyways, I'll see you guys on the next video.